right, so here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yes. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. Throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. Athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Rampage. Just over three minutes to go. To the body, it's blocked. Yeah. 
just misses with the straight right. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Slips the punch nicely there. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job by him defensively there. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for a real time. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Straight right hand now, just misses. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you gotta think at some point. Oh, oh big right hand. Back to the jab now, no good. Final seconds here. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Entertaining scrap so far. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Well, let's get to the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter. Oh, strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Just missed with the left there. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Beautiful combination. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Jackson's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Oh, 
Outstanding kick there by Jones. Lands the lead right punch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Uh, 10 minutes in the can. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Jackson's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. But when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, but you got to do things Ready. better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay off the center line, and he's got to press forward and put his opponent on his heel. All right, but well, all of a sudden we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round. Well play shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive push that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Jones. Another good shot. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many. Just over three minutes to go. Keep moving. Your face, hands up. It's a pretty fast jab. Jones is really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Let's go, we pass the midpoint here of the fight. Block there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact same. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Jackson's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his opponent. Might as well continue to attack that particular area. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That oh, there's a jump. Back to the feet. Oh, big left. And yeah, this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Great punch landed with so much power. Shot 
lands to the leg. Not there, that's a miss. It's over. Jones oh, takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Yo, wow! That was nasty. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. John Jones, your winner by TKO here tonight, and that has got to feel good. It's got to feel good to get a TKO victory. But if you know John Jones, if you watch John Jones, it's a matter of setting a person up. Once he gets them hurt, his finishing instincts are second to none. That was on full display tonight as he gets his TKO victory. And you got to think it's a title situation next for the future Hall of Famer and former light heavyweight champion, 